Hello Zany friends, I'm Lainey. And I am Marshall. And forgive me because the allergies are so bad today, I have to wear my glasses because... Horrible. It's horrible. It's all gunky and stuff. It's so bad. This uh, video is going to be all about our March uh, Zany Lainey collection as well as the creative scent for March, the uh, wax that we're selling this month, and, uh, and deals and highlights and all that other jazz. Yes. Um, if you are interested in knowing how to not only save money on these products, but other products and our party week, make sure you stick around till the end of the video so that you will find out exactly how we're doing it this month because it is a little different, but also a little the same. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're still trying to find the best way to do this, but stick around till the end of the video. Uh, also, if you don't want to miss any videos like this, subscribe, hit that button and the bell two times so that you will... Ring it in. We will know when, when it happens. Um, our viewership is going way, 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 way down. But, you know, if you follow us on Instagram, that's where it's at. Apparently, We're having all sorts of fun on Instagram. Instagram, apparently. People I'm are about like, to have some fun on Instagram. It actually makes me think that, like, YouTube is kind of, like, starting to not go under. But, like, for smaller YouTubers like me, I think it's starting to, like, nah. But that's okay, because we still make these videos so that we can put it... For you to watch because it's easier this way. We don't do this for us. We do this for we you. We do it for you. Um, so let's talk about this month's theme. I'm actually, this is probably one of my favorite themes that we have done um, because of what it entails. So when we first were conceptualizing this theme, we kind of went in a weird order because I really, okay, so Sense and Sensibility is like my favorite movie of all time, like of all time. I will watch it once a month, pretty much when I'm having a down day or feeling really bad, I will watch this movie. So we were kind of like, okay, well, how are we gonna like incorporate this into a theme without having everybody go, oh my God, you did all Jane Austen, really? Um, so what we actually struck upon was making it be about Alan Rickman because Alan Rickman has been in some really great movies and we have some really great facts to share about him. It has been two years since he died and he died in 2016 and honestly like every time I hear something about him I'm like what an amazing person so I feel like this is just a really fitting tribute to him and what he did and you know just everything about what he did <laughs> and so this month we bring you cool and collected cool the Alan... calm and collect oh cool and collected cool and collected I thought it was calm what stupid <laughs> I'm stupid. Anyway, um, so yes, because he kind of is. He was just kind of like chill, laid back, and whatever. And many of his characters were cool in one way, shape, or form. Um, whether they were cool as in like, I'm an awesome guy, or mm -hmm. they were just kind of cool towards the people around them. Mm -hmm. And I mean, we were limited by only being able to do three of his movies. Like, the ones you see we, that we chose are probably... Besides Sense and Sensibility, I don't know if it's that popular. I just did it because I was selfish and wanted to do it. If we didn't do Sense and Sensibility, we probably would have done Love Actually, because that's, like, the other great movie that he's in. But I feel like that's more of a Christmas movie, so we could we potentially do, do that in Christmas. If you guys want to see it in Christmas, put it down below, because we're still trying to decide what our Christmas scents are going to be. I think that's our last month this year we haven't planned. Mm -hmm. We plan very much ahead. Um, yeah. Also, I wanted to tell you that if you guys uh, go to our Facebook group, not only are we accepting Create Ascent uh, submissions every single month, uh, right now we are voting for the September and we're going to put in the October submissions. So make sure that you are in there because we want October to be obviously Halloween and fall theme. So it's going to be a little bit more specific. But if you're interested, you do get your own bottle of the scent for free as well as a postcard of the artwork. Um, so this is a really great way to kind of like do what you've always wanted to do without waiting for us to do it for you. You get to create the scent profile and you get to work with Marshall to actually uh, do the art. So it is, it's, it's a great way to like be like, you should have done the scent. I'm like, hey, put it in. We will. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I mean, the community has to vote on it. There's, there is that. And if you're thinking, maybe my scent is so obscure, people won't like it. Let's just, let's just say that like over, I think the September one that got voted on was Boy Meets World. Um, right now it looks like the winning one for October is Polly Pocket. So it's like really random to me, but hey, I'm, I'm okay doing those because I feel like if this is what people want, let's do it. <laughs> 
You know, that's what we're about. We're about community mm -hmm. here at Zany Laney. So, after I ramble on for five minutes, let's talk about Cool and Collected. So, no. the first scent that we're going to do, we're actually going to do these in chronological order yes, by movie release. Our very first one was his very first one. 20%. 20%. So it's based on Die Hard, which we haven't really done an action movie in Zany Lee, so I was really excited about this. I'm gonna be real, Die Hard, not one of my favorite movies, but I will watch it because my husband loves it. It's a guy movie. It is a I've noticed guy movie. this, right? So how do you feel about Die Hard? You haven't watched all of them. We got like a five pack, I, I have right? seen the first one. Mm -hmm. um, I've enjoyed it. There's a lot of good humor in it, and yeah, the action, that's pretty fun. Mm -hmm. it, it's a it's a fun movie. It's not one of those that'd be like, I have to live my life by it, like some guys mm -hmm. do. Um, but it's a fun movie. Yeah. I think that there's a lot of, of other shows that talk about watching that. So like, I'm watching through Friends before I go to bed right now, and there is a whole thing where they talk about Die Hard, mm -hmm. um, how they watch Die Hard. We are also watching through Brooklyn Nine-Nine, um, on me for the second time, him for the first time. And um, the main character, Jake Peralta, loves, loves Die Hard. It's like, a major plot point. Loves everything about Die Hard. So it comes up a lot, right? So Die Hard, guys love Die Hard, okay? So we made the set based on on basically what happened in Die Hard. Um, Alan Rickman plays Hans Gruber, and I think it's really interesting this was his first movie. I think he did a lot of theater before. Yeah. This is his first movie, but he was well into his 40s before he did his first movie. So this just goes to show you, too, late start doesn't matter in life. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Do it. <laughs> Do it when you want to do it. Go for what you want. Doesn't matter how old you are. So, tell me about the art that you did for the So, film. while this didn't, this scene did not actually take place in the movie, this is a combination of different scenes all happening at once. This takes place inside of the, uh, the party room lobby from the movie, where they're all having a giant party. However, near the end of the movie, that entire place is on fire, so that's where you're at. Uh, taking place in it is one of the most important and memorable scenes where Gruber has um, has McLean at gunpoint and McLean, looking like he's unarmed, reaches behind his head to grab the gun that he's duct taped there. Um, what I loved about this artwork and is that it's just so minimalistic. It, sh it just works in its purity of form. Mm -hmm. And I... I it's just, it's nice. It's so that cool. seems to be his style, is this really minimalistic uh, art when it comes to doing this kind of thing. Um, so don't forget, you can also get the digital desktop and mobile downloads. Um, they, they're they at like, what, $1.99 now? How much are they for the, for well, the stuff? Well, for, for one particular set of artwork, and it'll come with this and the mobile, um, it would be $1. Um, but when you get the entire set for like, this month, mm -hmm. it, it would be about three dollars. So it's very, very reasonable, I think. Mm -hmm. um, but that, the, I don't think that includes the Create Ascent, correct? No, it does just not. Just the collection. It's just the collection. Okay. But you can also get the Create Ascent for a dollar. There you go. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in any of the artwork, it, you can get that on the site as well. So this scent, um, when we were creating the scent, I was kind of like, I want it to be Hans Gruber, but also kind of like party. Mm -hmm. You know, so what we decided was it's going to be champagne, orchids, and vanilla. So the champagne, obviously, for the party. The orchids and vanilla have a very manly cologne-type scent. Mm -hmm. um, you can get this in a spray, a scrub, and the button artwork as well. The spray is $6, the scrub is $8, and the buttons are $3. You really get the champagne scent. Yeah, it comes out first, but then... The orchids, okay, so for those of you who are afraid that this is going to be too floral, just know we never do scents that are very floral. We always offset it with something else. That's just kind of our brand because we can't take it when we make it. Does yeah. that make sense? All right. So, yes, you can smell the orchids, but you're really going to smell the vanilla and champagne the most. The What the good thing about the orchids and the vanilla is is that it actually kind of mutes a little bit of that mm -hmm. champagne so it's not quite as piercing yeah it's it's to me it's not only fresh but it's also a little bit manly like i could see yeah. a man wearing this do I you like actually, this i actually do like the scent i think it's one that i possibly could I, I mean i could wear it i'm not sure if i if i would it's not necessarily my style right but it is something that i could wear and probably get away with mm -hmm. 
So our next movie, of course, is, again, my favorite movie of all time, Sense and Sensibility. Um, let, first, just a note about this movie, since it is my favorite one. This, the way that the, this movie was done, the director, Ang Lee, is not English, so they decided to have him direct it because he could give a viewpoint outside of, like, the English mentality. Emma Thompson um, adapted the book from Jane Austen, and some people say that they feel like the adaptation movie version is actually better than Jane Austen's original book. I kind of concur. I like Jane Austen, but I don't like to read Jane Austen. Does that make sense? Like, I love Jane Austen's stories. I think she, it was genius, but sometimes when I read the book, and I'm a reader, sometimes I'm just like, okay. Um, so, I don't know. There is something so calm and soothing about watching this movie. The performances, Emma Thompson, Alan Rickman, uh, Hugh, oh my gosh, what's his name? Grant. From House. Well, Hugh Grant, yes, and then the other Hugh. Larry? Huh? Larry? Hugh Larry? No. No, no you know who I'm talking about. House. Yeah. Um, Hugh. Anyway. Kate, uh, Kate Winslet. I, it's like a virtual who's who of who can act in England. Like, it's a great story, okay? Um, so, that being said, when we decided to do the artwork, I was like, I need something that just really encapsulates what the movie is about while still paying tribute to Ellen Rickman. So what we have is a very Edwardian kind of frame, very ornate wooden frame on a damask background, and it's divided into four, each one of them showing different kind of important things from the movie. So you've got the ECL monogram. The Edward the... Ferris handkerchief that he gives to like mm -hmm. everyone in his life. <laughs> okay, so one little thing. Uh, by contrast, I've not really ever watched this movie. That uh, Jane Austen is not my thing, um, but they gave me extremely good notes so that I was able to do all of this. Um, it's a travesty. I'm going to make him watch it like during one of the family movie nights. I'm going to make him watch it because normally when he watches a movie, he does other things. So it's not like he has to sit, like, seriously sit there and be like, Jane Austen, you're going to do it, man. I'm not making you watch the Pride and Prejudice eight hour version. Okay. It's literally an hour and a half. Because that would be a form of... That would be bad for you. <laughs> that would be really bad. Chill out, man. This is a good movie. Okay. Okay. So underneath that, we have the scene where she's taking care of her horse. She's actually saying goodbye to her horse because okay. they, they have to leave because they don't inherit the house from their father because the house is passed from father to son, not father to daughter. So the, the daughters and the, the wife have to leave... And so she's saying goodbye to her horse. I know, at the time period, see, this is what I'm saying, man. It's so historically rich. You just gotta watch it. Anyway, so she's saying goodbye to her horsey, and Hugh Grant Edward is coming in to talk to her there. Mm -hmm. And then next to that, we have a, a book of Shakespearean poetry. Because the, the, the ladies do read the sonnets, and then there's whole thi this whole thing about Rillo B coming in and like rescuing Marianne, and then they are all reading the sonnets, and he gives her this little Shakespeare sonnet. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we have... It, there was a scene in there where they were drawing, but when they did it, they did it by having their subject behind a screen with mm -hmm. light, so his silhouette was being projected against a grid so that they could then draw from the grid. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a done. little easier. In the movie it is Willoughby, but we decided to change it and make it... The Colonel? Colonel Brandon. Colonel mm -hmm. Brandon, okay. So well, it is Alan Rickman on there. Yeah, very good, very good. So yeah, it's not Willoughby in this one, but like we thought that is the way we're going to incorporate him into the the artwork of it itself. That was fun. I actually had to composite it together from a couple other pictures. Right? Okay. So that, and I like how he did the frame. So the frame is very, like, of the time period, and so is the wallpaper. I feel like this is everything about Sense and Sensibility that you could, mm -hmm. that you could do. Like, you know, it's, it just, it's, it's, a, it's a really pretty background. It's not overly complicated. It's just simple. Mm -hmm. I actually have it on my desktop back there. You can, you can see it. Uh, and I think you have 20% over there? Yeah, I've got 20% on mine. Uh -huh. So, And then the what we wanted this to smell like was like you are in, you know, back in that time period when you lived in the countryside, there were a lot of fruits and nuts and vegetables that grew. And so this smells like raspberries, apples, and almonds. I feel like this might 
pretty much, I don't know if almonds really grow in the countryside, but, uh, or raspberries for that matter, but I know apples did. But I think the scent itself really evokes what, what this is supposed to be about. Mm, I can smell the this raspberries really, really a lot and the almonds. Yeah, raspberries and almonds really mm. come out in here. Ugh, this is, I, I'm so glad that I chose this scent because this is probably the one I'm going to be spraying all month long. So good. Again, you can get this in the scrub, in the spray, and in the button. I think this month uh, you can get every scent in all three because nothing has cinnamon in it. Yeah! All right. And for our last one, we would be very, very bad people and very bad Potter lovers if we did not put a Harry Potter reference into this. So of course we did a Snape scent to add to our Harry Potter collection. You will notice it's not the same. Like all of our other Harry Potter have that beige background and it has like... A single object. Yeah, that. like kind of antique looking. This one we went in a completely different direction and I love it. I actually have this as my desktop and my work computer because I love it so much. And because I work right between the two Wizarding Worlds of Harry Potter. Like, I, I basically work in the middle of it and I see Hogwarts go by my building, mm. like, all the time. The Hogwarts Express. So, I can do that at work. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, this is always. And what's really important about always is, to the Harry Potter films and to uh, Alan Rickman is that the secret of always is what actually got him to take the role. Because this is actually what got him to take the role in the first place. Uh, when he was first being uh, asked to take the role of Snape, he looked it over and saw that it was kind of this moody dude and he's like, nah, I I'm okay, thanks. And then J.K. Rowling took him aside and said, first off, let me tell you something. And she tells him the story of always. And he's like, that is the role I want right there. Because that took him from being just this kind of evil-ish, moody dude to being a really deep character. And, redemp re and there was redemption at the end of it all, mm -hmm. you know, like, where Snape goes from being like this like, really hate it. Like, if you're reading the books over the course of, like, years, you really hate Snape. And then you get to the end and you're like, oh, dang. <laughs> you're like, oh, so this is what he was actually feeling this whole time. Mm -hmm. Why does he not like Potter? I mean, in my head, he's always looking at Potter as, you should have been my son. Mm-hmm. Not exactly. his son. But we do have a funny story to tell about this. I was watching this video and I found out. So uh, the kid who played Ron Reasley was actually drawing a picture of Snape and it was not a very flattering picture. Apparently it was really bad and kind of naughty. And as he's drawing it, Alan Rickman is standing behind him as Snape and kind of gives him this look. And so he's like, eh? And then apparently Alan Rickman asks him for the picture, makes him sign it, and he apparently still had it in his possession. Um, I think he said he framed it. I don't yeah. know. But I was like, that is an amazing story. It is, and it's lots of fun. And it shows you kind of how he, how he thinks of himself. Like, mm -hmm. you always see him playing these very mm, kinds of characters, and so you never really think that he has that kind of a sense of humor. But yeah, he yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so... What did we want for this artwork? So Always shows the Mirror of Erised. And if those of you who aren't Potterheads, uh, the Mirror of Erised will show you whatever your heart's desire is, but it doesn't ever actually make it do anything with that. So you can never actually achieve your desire through it. But what we see looking into the mirror is a Patronus, a Doe Patronus, which would be Snape's Patronus. And what he sees when he's looking into the mirror is Lily, later Lily Potter. Uh, but you see her as a little girl when he first met her. Because this is him looking back, and that is his heart's desire. That girl that he fell in love with all, those time, all that time ago. Sad face, but very sweet. And this is also, like, this is a really great background, because I learned how to do the Patronus effect, and that's just so fun. <laughs> <laughs> Um, for this scent, we wanted it to smell like what it would smell like if you're brewing potions, you know? Mm -hmm. um, there is more almonds in here. There's spices and roses. And we did put spice, but you will understand when you smell this what that means when you say spice. Uh, I feel like I can really smell the roses and a little bit of 
cherry, actually. That's actually the almond that you're smelling. Mm -hmm. Almonds yeah. kind of have a little bit of a cherry it's side it's to true. them. That's um, true. I could actually wear this scent. I would like this. Yeah, it... It is. This is a really good scent. I would wear this scent, and I would use it as a like a room spray as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but it is really good. Um, I I do like the way you can't really smell the roses that much, but they're very. It's like a real undertone of it. So you can get this in a spray, a scrub, and a button as well. This month only, you are able to get a bundle, um, and what that bundle will entail is you get. Uh, a full-size clamshell wax of uh -uh. always. You get a two-ounce scrub of 20%. You get a uh, four-milliliter spray of an occupation and a random button from one of our three different scents this month. Um, you are also able to purchase the wax uh, by itself. So we are now branching out a little bit more. Uh, we're going to give you two waxes this month in order to be uh, purchased. Um, so if you are interested in getting that in a wax, I cannot wait to That's a great that wax. in wax. Yes. All right, let us talk about the other wax that you can purchase this month. Of course, every month we have a voting in the group to find out what wax we're actually going to sell that month. And this month, uh, the wax that was chosen was So Fetch from last October's birthday Mean Girls scent. Uh, so it smells like, I can't remember what it smelled like again. Pomegranates, grapes, and kiwi. It is very fruity and I love it so much. So excited this was chosen because now we can totally have this scent. Little side note, we're planning on adding color to our scent uh, like it's next month. Boys and girls. It, next month. Um, it will be one color. We're going to do it in zany lady purple. Um, you know, the, 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 the purple from the bottles. Okay, so because that's kind of our brand color, they're all going to be the same color. But at least we're going to branch out in purple first and then work our way from there. Um, since we are moving to a new place, we might have uh, some more surprises up our sleeve because uh, we will be having a bigger area to make our crap. Because right now, we make it in literally the space you see behind me. And, and for the few people who have actually seen this room, you can't fit more than two people in this room. I'm surprised we do anything in here. Let us go to the create a scent. So the create a scent for this month, of course, um, it, like I said, you can, it is submitted to the community. We pick our top ones and then we vote on it in the group. And this month is 16 candles themed. It is made by a former rep. She's no longer a rep anymore. Uh, her name is Jasmine. And she decided to make a 16 candles theme called. It already came true. <laughs> I'm impressed you remembered that was a line. <laughs> you, okay, so the, the reason why I even remember that as a line is because I've been working uh, with the submitter to make this set. And so she says, I really wanted to have that scene where they're looking, they're about to have the cake, and she, he says, make a wish, and she says, it already came true. Very good. Normally, they would be sitting on either side of the cake, but... This is kind of like the moment just before when they're first walking in. And imagine. So, like, pretend like, you know, she walks in and he's like, I have cake. You know, like, that's probably what happened in this scene. So Jake Ryan is standing behind the cake. Mm -hmm. um, so apparently, what could be more obvious than to have this scent smell like cake? Um, it actually smells like strawberry, vanilla, and cake. So she really wanted it to be very, very much strawberry with the cake in the background. This one is really good also. Yeah. Actually, it I just love all of them this it month. It does They're kind so of good. give you that, like, it's got an icing on it and maybe oh, yeah. strawberry filling. Mm -hmm. So you can get this in a spray, a scrub, and a button as well. Mm -hmm. Can't stop smelling this one. This is very similar to the Cute Kids bow we did last month but it's more cakey than that one is that so, one is more so sweet saying that you can't stop smelling that one would that make you a cake sniffer totally we have that too cake sniffer hashtag cake sniffer one last scent uh we wanted to bring up i don't know if we did this last month or not this is death by stereo death by stereo this is one of our commission scents mm -hmm. um that was brought out by laura budzinski budzinski laura yeah. budzinski the name is based on Lost Boys. Mm -hmm. um, so Death by Stereo, we only offer this in a spray because there is cinnamon in it. We can't do it as a scrub, mm -hmm. but it is coffee, cardamom, and... Coffee, cinnamon, and teakwood. 
antique wood. Oh, I thought there was cardamom in it. Anyway, but it really smells. It's like very Moroccan spice mm -hmm. coffee is what I think it would yeah, smell it like. Yeah, it kind of does. It smells like a cafe with some... In Morocco, yeah. Yeah. yeah I, it's really good. So we might be having some other scents pop up throughout the month. Make sure you are in our Facebook group so that you know more about it. So let's tell you finally about the highlights and the party deal that we're doing uh, starting this month. So basically every three days we're going to have a special on something. We're going to be highlighting a specific scent or group of scents in uh, all over social media and in the group. You will be able to get these straight on the site. You don't have a, to have a code. You don't have to do it in our Facebook group only like normal. You basically can go to the site and see what the three the the scent is that we are highlighting for the three days that we are doing it. So this will happen through the month of March, except for the last week of March, which we will have the party. So the party is a little bit different because every day we will be highlighting a new scent. You can only get the deal in the group. So you can't get it on the site at that point. There are prizes in the group for games and whatnot. One per day we will be having a game that you can win a prize from. So that's kind of the difference between the two. Um, if you do the highlight day deals, you can also use a code from one of our reps and you will be able to find that in the comments of the pinned post um, in our group. That not only can you get this as a deal, but you can also use their 10% off code on top of it to save even more money. So make sure you are watching our social media. We're Zany Laney everywhere and our website zanylaney.com so that you can get these deals on this stuff right here. We think it's going to be a little bit better because that way people can go to the site, see more things and mm -hmm. rather than just being like, oh, hey, in the group, comment, comment. It's, it's, a, it's a whole like confusing mess and we end up like missing things. Just, we're just, it's a change. Just go with that. Um, so of course for pops, proof of purchase, um, you will get a pop in every order that we send out to you. Um, if you collect 10, you get $5 off your order. If you get the golden one, then you automatically get $5 off your order. Just take a picture and email me your pops. Um, we also keep track of which pops we send out to whom, so we know if you cheat. We, we know. And we also know which of you aren't actually using your stuff. <laughs> a lot of you. Uh, I mean, we like the money. We don't dislike that, but the pops are cool. Use them. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, thank you so much for watching this. Our videos are always very long when we do this, but there's a lot of information for you. Um, so, until next time, stay zany. Bye-bye.